Hello, hello. Good evening. You're welcome to Galvestation by One Divar. Galvestation is a weekly program that happens on Saturdays by One Diva Global Community. One Diva Global Community is an organization of young women who see this, see themselves the way God sees them and pattern their life after God's pattern. Uh, we are leaders. We are building other women leaders, um, women of all ages. All right. So, if you're a woman and you're watching this, I want to be part of what we do. You can scroll to our page to see our content. Also, send us a DM. All right, I will let you know how you can join One Diva Global Community. Today on Gilversation, we're talking about procrastination. Um, dealing with procrastination and by the way happy new month yeah it's the new month of April and it's also the new month a new quarter quarter two of 2023 so while we're talking about dealing with procrastination first of all I'd like us to know that uh, the, the best of us could set our hearts to do something and at a point you know change our minds or push it further keep pushing it further because it's not so convenient to do such thing at that time so take your mind back um to the beginning of the year or let's say the ending of last year some of us stepped into the year 2023 thinking that oh I would not I would not do this anymore. Things I did in 2022 that didn't work for me, I no longer do them. I'll read a book, all right? I'll start reading a book in January and finish it before the end. I'll read two books, all of that. And then January comes and goes. All right, February, you've not even read one book. You've never read a page, all right? So what's responsible for all of those? This evening... I'm supposed to be having this conversation alongside Jessica, Precious, and Shewa. Uh, but for some reason, they're not here yet. When they come on live, I will I will uh, ask their opinions and they'll share their thoughts. All right? So, yeah, so for you, why do you procrastinate, really? Why do you procrastinate? Is it because of fear of failure? Or is it because you you are you don't want to step out of your comfort zone and do what you ought to do? Why do people procrastinate when they do? Is it because they don't have the wherewithal to do what they need to do? Or it's just the fear of the unknown? Or what if it doesn't turn out the way I expect? All right? Um, or maybe it's just not wanting to take responsibility why do people procrastinate um think about it before you answer on behalf of people i think a good place to start is asking yourself why do i procrastinate uh so procrastination is putting to a later time something you ought to do now okay so for example uh you're supposed to let me look for something easy. You're supposed to wash your clothes. All right. And you say, oh, no, I won't wash my clothes now. Let's say it's 10 a.m. I'll wash my clothes now, 10 a.m. I'll wash it later. I'll wash it soon. I'll wash it later. When I finish doing this, I'll wash it. And then the time you said you wash it comes. And you're like, okay, I'll wash it tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes. You're like, okay, I'll wash it. When you keep procrastinating, you are wasting time and opportunities. Time and opportunities. So, the Bible makes us to understand the book of Ecclesiastes. That the race is not to be swift. And the battle is not to be strong. But time and chance happens to every one of us. So, imagine that when you stepped out to do that thing that you have been procrastinating, you just received help from someone else. Or it's not as difficult after all. Or your fears, your negative fears, don't end up being the reality. What if your fears 
the things that you fear would happen actually do not happen. Guess what if? So we're entering into quarter two. And there are some things you promised yourself you're going to do in quarter one. You're going to save more. You're going to read more. You're going to maybe go, go out on evangelism. You're going to pray for missionaries. And you've not been doing that. And guess what? If you're someone that always procrastinates, you'll keep finding good excuses to keep doing that. So, you are someone... Hi, Jessica, you're welcome. Let me know when you're good to join. Just send a request and I'll, and I'll invite you. So you're someone that you know that you always make excuses for things and you keep pushing it around. One way you can, you can deal with that weakness of procrastinating is to have an accountability partner. When you are accountable to someone, when you can say, okay, my friend Jessica, for example, I want to do two pages of my book every day. Please hold me accountable. And then you know that your morning times are the best times to read. And then you remember that you're supposed to read. Your alarm goes off, read by 10 a.m. And you say, no, I'll read, I'll read later. The moment you procrastinate and it's afternoon, you'd end up not reading. So it's great to have a Jessica, it's great to have a an Anu, a BC, a Tola to say, oh, please hold me accountable because I want to keep my word to myself. I want to be a better student by reading daily. Another way to avoid procrastinating is to plan better. So instead of procrastinating important things and giving excuses, why don't you keep a journal? Why don't you have a goal for the month, for the week, for the day? Your goal for the day is your to-do or must-do list, depending on how you prioritize. Everything you need to do, write them down. A lot of us don't journal or write things down. We feel that we'll always remember, forgetting that the human brain can't remember every single thing that goes in every single time. Someone says the faintest ink is sharper than the brightest brain. So conversations you had three weeks ago, I'm sure you can't remember every detail. Conversations you had two days ago, you can't remember every detail. Even some people yesterday, they can't remember every detail and that's why it's important to write. So when you prioritize what you need to do, write them down allocate time to them if you write down every single thing you spend your time doing every day and how long you spend your time doing those i believe that you'd manage your time better daily if you want to take sincere assessments of yourself and you want to make a headway being productive because a lot of things that we do routinely or that we do in our spare time i think that don't add value to us there are things that take from us so much virtue. And then we end up procrastinating or pushing forward important things that we ought to do in the now. So that's one way also to deal with procrastination. Um, another way to deal with procrastination is when you achieve the little, little goals, give yourself a little reward. Okay, it may be lunch. It may be a treat at the spa. It may just be ice cream or parfait. Just something small. Why? Because you are trying to adjust or you're trying to... Um, what's the word now? You're trying to get your body, your system, your mind used to being rewarded for doing the right things the things you say that you will do all right that's another way to deal with procrastination so as a student you can't afford not to regularly go back to studying your books attending classes doing assignments doing your projects don't wait for the deadline don't wait for 
the night before because at that time you are under pressure so when you keep procrastinating the ability of your task as a student or as a worker either an entrepreneur or you are an employee you find out that there is more pressure on you towards your deadlines and if care is not taken you're not able to meet up or do a good job in for that assignment and it tells on your overall kpi or performance so it's important that you take note and do things as and where when due so that you don't what's the word now so that you don't like rub it out to paper you don't starve another task the time and attention required because you didn't do what you were supposed to do when you were supposed to do it so we're stepping into quarter two or rather we've stepped into quarter two today april one now 30 days in april out of 30 one is gone we left it 29 and then we have May 31 days, June 30 days, all together 91 days. And one day is gone, so 90 days left. What will you do in the next 90 days? What do you want to achieve? I think it's good to sit down and write what you want to achieve. After you've written down what you want to achieve, ask yourself, what how do i want to achieve these things what do i need to do to achieve these things write them down then write your weaknesses or challenges or those things that you feel will pose a threat will pose a, an issue to you achieving all those things you may want to take a cue from quarter one what are those things that stopped you what were those distractions what were those um weaknesses what were those shortcomings after you've written that down, then tell yourself, what do I need to do to overcome this? One of the things that slow people down or hint that they are good success is procrastinating. All right? So find out how to be accountable with your goals, how to ensure that you're right on time with the things you need to do when you do things when they are supposed to be done you get the best out of them you get the needed help you require you have enough time to do them again if need be that's if you were not able to pull it off properly the first time and you also do the things without pressure without pressure of meeting a deadline it's important that you do things ahead of the deadlines all right so that you can breathe <laughs> all right and get the best out of whatever it is whatever task you are supposed to be doing all right seems like my co-hosts are not able to make it today so um, I think I'll be joining the cousin here yes if you don't have a question i'll just draw the curtain here um i hope this video helps you to make better decisions and plans for quarter two 2023 and starting from the month of april you may not want to take the whole quarter one off you want to break it down to april deal with april and after april deal with may and june as they come it's my prayer that you're able to handle you know the issues around procrastination and every other thing that might want to deter you in quarter two i pray that quarter two is fruitful for you in every sense in jesus name amen um Hi, hi, Adeshawa. Good to have you. Yeah, are you ready to join the conversation now? If you're ready, just send me a re request and I'll invite you. 
Request to join and then I'll accept. If you're ready, are they sure? Hello, Adisha. Hello, Shewa. How are you? I can't hear you. Can you hear me, Adisha? Can you hear me at this show? Huh? 